Hi everybody. Today we're going to be talking about rounding. So the example I have for you is 491,146. I've chosen a larger number just to see a different examples to go with it. However, if you're um, in grade two or three and still doing rounding with smaller numbers, it still works. Um, and the strategy I'd like to share with you today is the rounding poem. Now, if you memorize it, um, especially when you're learning how to do rounding, it helps a lot. And then eventually you won't even need it anymore because you'll know what to do. So the rounding poem that really helps me is find your place, look right next door, five or greater, add one more. All numbers in front stay the same. All numbers behind, zero is their name. And so how this poem is organized is that each section will tell you each step that follows each other. So if you look at an example of 491,146, and we would like to round it to the nearest 100,000. So I'm going to change colors. So I have my original number here, and then it helps if you use like a whiteboard or something like that, and then you can always erase and go back to the original number if you have more than one example to do with the same number. So for this number, find your place, look right next door. So for find your place, again, the number is here, and I'm rounding it to the nearest 100,000. Find your place, nearest 100,000. <clears> it really does help if you know your place value very, very well. So please make sure to double check your place values before you actually start your rounding, because if you uh, get mixed up on the actual place value, then your answer, of course, will be wrong. So please uh, double check that. So find your place. I'm rounding to the nearest 100,000. There it is. Look right next door. And that's there actually on purpose, because I'm actually looking to the right to the number that's next door to it. It's a nine. Five or greater, add one more. So I ask myself, is the number that's to the right actually five or greater? Yes, it is. And if that's the case, I have to add one more. But I do not add one more to this one. I add one more to the number I was originally working with, and that original place value of where I'm rounding. The next part, all numbers in front stay the same. So if I was rounding a different place to the different place value, if there were numbers in the front, I would keep them exactly as they are. And all numbers behind, zero is their name. That means all the numbers that come after will be turning into zero. So of course we can't just leave it like this. We have to make sure that we write the correct answer. So coming back, remember I had to find out the nearest 100,000. So when I think about it, I need to figure out is 491,146, is that closer to 400,000 or closer to 500,000 in a number line? Where does it appear? 400,000 over here, 500,000 over here, where would it be? So coming back to the poem, I have my find my place, look right next door, five or greater, yes, I add one more. So here's my new number. The four changes to a five, that's where I add one more. If I wanna put a little note to myself, I can. All numbers in front stay the same. Well, there were no numbers in front, so I don't have anything to do there. And all numbers behind, zero is their name. So now every single number that comes afterwards is going to turn in to zero. And so I find out that 491,146 is actually closest to 500,000 if I'm rounding to the nearest 100,000. Let's do another example with the same number just so you can see the difference. So I'm gonna go back to my original number here. I'm gonna get rid of all my work from the old one. So you can see um, that we have a nice clear place to work and we're gonna do the same thing again, but this time we're gonna round it to the nearest thousands place but I'm still gonna use the poem. It's still gonna work for every single one that you're doing. So find your place, again, rounding to the nearest thousand. Here it is, there's a one there. Look right next door, look right next door. Five or greater, add one more. 
So I know 1 is not greater than 5, so I don't have anything to do. I'm going to put a little x for myself to remind me that I'm not adding anything else. Uh, some people have the habit of saying, oh, I'm going to round down. No, do not round down, because that makes you think that, oh, this number has to be subtracted by 1. No, no, we don't want to do that either. We're just leaving it as is. Okay? So only if it's 5 or greater do you add one more to the number that you're working with. If it's not 5 or greater, you just leave it. Okay? So we'll put a little x there to say stop. You don't have to change it. So the next part, all numbers in front stay the same. So in this case, I do have numbers in the front, and those are the ones that are going to stay the same. So this is where I was working, the thousands place. I have a 4 and I have a 9 in front of it. So those ones are going to stay the same. Now I ask myself, okay, I was working with my thousands place. I have a one there, but remember I'm not changing that because the number next to it was not greater than uh, five. So it still stays one. And then all numbers behind zero is their name. So one, two, three, numbers behind one, two, three, zeros. And this shows me that the number 491,146 because I was rounding to the nearest thousand, I was asking myself, is this closer to 491,000 or 492,000? Well, it's closer to 491,000. Okay. So that is an example rounding to the nearest thousands. And finally, one more example, again with the same number, because the poem does work for everything. Let's change colors again, just to be exciting. We got um, the same number, 491,146, but this time we're going to round it to the nearest tens place. So, same thing with the poem. Find your place, rounding to the nearest ten, there it is. Look right next door. Five or greater, yes it is greater than five, it's a six. Add one more. So then I'm going to come back over here. See, and it helps if you think of it as like a little circle, right? Because you can't just stop here. You're adding one more to the original number that you were working with. So I remember I have to add one more to that number when I finish off writing my correct answer afterwards. All numbers in front stay the same. Okay, so this time I do have more numbers in the front, so I just have to make sure I'm writing it correctly. So here's my 4, my 9, my 1, 1 again. Uh, and here's the number I was originally working with. So when it comes to this, again, I, the number next to it was a greater than 5. So I do have to add one more. So this number is going to change to a 5. And then all numbers behind, 0 is their name. And then there's only one number behind, so it's 0. So again, if I'm around to the nearest 10, I ask myself, is 491,146, is it closer to 491,140? or 40, 491,150, and in this case, it is closer to 491,150, because that's six there. So this is rounding, and again, the poem works for any number. It could be in the hundreds, the thousands, the millions. Even when you start working with decimals, this um, poem still works. So it's a really great strategy uh, to help you uh, start learning about rounding so you don't forget, and then eventually uh, you can do it without the poem and whatever strategy works best for you. So that is rounding numbers.